cute little flashing light off eBay, and this is apparently designed for traffic cones. I'm not sure if they actually use it in roadworks, or it's just a sort of like small site type of thing. But all the listings that this appears on seem to have a common image, and I'm guessing it's just one company that's selling it. The particular seller here is Baye Home, B-E-I-Y-I Home, and it was £1.7, so pretty much a sort of disposable item. And it's got three modes. It's got the, well, off being one of the modes. It's got the flashing, static, and off, uh, which suggests, you know, it's pretty much one of those uh, bike light chips inside. And if you undo the battery pack in the back, it's simply just two AAA cells that can go in any way round. And it is possible to put it in the wrong way round into the actual holder because it's got these little round contacts. One marked positive, one marked negative. And if I put it in deliberately the wrong way round, It'll still click in, but it just won't work. So I've already uh, opened this up because it was glued. And inside it reveals, well, let's bring it up and take a closer look at it. It's got a fairly high power LED chip in the middle. I'd say that's about a half watt type chip. It's got the classic chip on board cob with the blob of resin over it. And the only other component apart from the switch here, which they've only soldered two contacts for cheapness, I'm guessing, is a resistor, and the value of the resistor is 102, which is 102 zeros, 1,000 ohms. And I thought, that's too high for the... That's too high a value of resistor to be in series the LED. And I, initially I thought it was timing, but I don't. it's not timing, and I've suddenly realised that there's a very good chance I could test this, that they've put that resistor... It goes from the positive rail to the, to the chip, and the positive rail also goes to the LEDs, meaning that uh, that resistor might be to limit the current because the chip will take very little current uh, on its own. But, uh, that resistor could be to limit the current if the batteries are put in back to front. Let's, uh, let's test that. Let's take it right back down to here. Bring in the meter. Set it to 20 volt range. I've moved the light in this bench and I'm thinking... I could be tempted to either move it back or just add some more lighting because at the moment it's uh, swamping out in completely different bits now. That's quite annoying. Uh, so theoretically, if I measure across this resistor while the battery's in the right way around, uh, it shouldn't show much current. And it should show a little bit more if I actually, you know, it's not showing anything at the moment because it's in standby mode. And it's not even showing much. Well, it's showing nothing even when it's actually lit. But what if I put the battery the wrong way around? To me, that would show a higher voltage. If this is actually limiting the current, the, the, the chip would probably be trying to short the rails out at this point in time. I should get a modest voltage across that. Yes, I'm getting two volts. That must be what it's for. It means that if you put the batteries in the wrong way around, then even when the chip's not running, it's going to be drawing about two milliamps. But um, it's not going to harm the chip. That's going to limit the sort of short circuit current. Uh, and when you change the batteries back around to the correct way, it restores normal operation. So that's quite neat. It's quite a nice little thing. It's got, got its uses. Um, but I don't know what it's actually used for in China. Uh, the, ink, the text in the bottom says tighten and loosen with arrows. So um, English language. I'm not sure if it's based on someone else's product or if it's uh, actually used on roadworks or something, but it's quite neat. I quite like that. It's just a stylish little thing.